Okay, welcome everyone. Let's full start our lesson two. Today lesson we'll go through LO2, which is learning outcome to understand the key innovative business drivers for the organizational success. My name is Anjum Sattha and my email address Anjum at ukversity.co.uk. Please, if you have any question, drop me email on my email address and I'll try my best to get back to you as soon as possible. So today lesson, um, always when we start any activities, so good to be reflect, you know, how much you know the knowledge about technology, innovation, and creativity, how creative we can as an organization. Then the today lesson indicated content, what indicative content, what we're supposed to be learned, the VN mission, influence of VN mission indicator, organization performance leading to the case of innovation, uh, leadership style, we can look around the behavior, of course, you know, in, but we are mostly looking in the marketing perspective and how we can overcome these behaviors, uh, overcome these obstacles towards the innovation. So that all will be focused. So first, uh, our assessment criteria today we have is called evaluate the relevance of uh, missions, values in a dynamic environment. What? Why the dynamic environment? environment is changing. Think about the COVID-19 due to the globalization, globalization, and these are the lot of drivers, which is a huge tense environment. So if you, we don't have a competition in one, from one country, we have a competition throughout the world. So that's why it is a very dynamic, you know, the changing the things so rapidly. So like we discuss about marketing concepts, uh, we discuss marketing concept. We discuss, you know, the production concept while you produce more. Then is the product concept, make the product, you know, the meat, you know, then it's called selling concept. You sell more and then was the marketing concept and then social marketing. Yes, yeah, so with the passage of time, these all, you know, the concept develop. But we need to be key focus now on the long term value for customer. Long term value. Yes, yeah. so that's, you know, the, with the passage of time, we need to be dynamic environment chain, the concept chain, and key focus on the customer satisfaction. Customer satisfaction, loyalty, long term, we need to be make the customer loyal. We need to focus on service quality. So the term mission, V and N M's are used a number of different authors and they are often incorrectly used interchangeably in everyday conversation. So setting objective is the key part of the strategic planning. Objective will be set by the considering an organization mission statement. Its key stakeholder, corporate governance, is attitude toward ethics. The page looks at the concept of the mission and the mission statement. The mission statement is exist in order to establish the primary reason for the organization existence and define the core value. And this should be overriding the objective from all other objective are set. So mission should be consider all the stakeholder of an organization and aims to satisfy they need. So that's the key focus we need to be look around. Then one of the great scholars, Johnson School and uh, various other authors as well, referred the organization mission as the most generalized types of objective. This can be thought in the expression of its reason, the ITRA, the mission indicate to the both the world at large and those making the strategic decision, which is mean the long term industry and the broad ground rule that the organization will adhere to when conducting its business. The mission statement should contain the purpose, the strategies, policies, and the values. And also mission statement should be short, typical half page. Note the mission statement can be a valuable role in the setting ethical standard in the organization culture. So that's the key message. So mission is very important that guide the general behavior of the organization. Okay, and then purpose. Why the company in the business? So what is the organization for? Some organization and the company don't attempt to eat the conclusion about the nature of their overall purpose. However, where the companies have the ideas of their purpose, 
researched by the Campbell, Devenny, and Leong show that the company fall into the following type. The company have just exist for the benefit to the of the shareholders. The main purpose to maximize the wealth of the shareholders and the DCNRS has to gain the benchmark, the shareholder value. Company that believe the satisfaction of the shareholders is not the only the reason for existence. Believe it is important to satisfy its stakeholders in the mission. They address how they are satisfied the needs of the customer, community and employees as well as the shareholders. So that's the key, you know, not focus on the shareholder, just wealth maximization, but focusing overall the organization that's, you know, other. The strategy, this component of the mission then address how is going to be achieved the purpose. How is going to be achieved the purpose that's, you know, Okay, that was the key purpose of, you know, the organization, why they, we are in the business and what is the purpose of. So that's, you know, the, we need to be. The strategy, the component of the mission statement and then uh, addresses how it's going to be achieved the purpose. The, this could involve the statement of industrial domain, way to complete the nature and competitive advantage and policy. So that's, you know, we need to be look around the policies and the standard behavior without policy and the behavior guidance help you know stop to make the decision values are the feeling and the moral principle lies behind the company structure okay then we're looking the advantages and disadvantages of mission statement the claim advantages help you know resolve the conflict set the direction of the organization so help the formulate the strategy help communicate the values and culture, help, you know, the making the process of communicating with the customer. Criticism of the mission statement often fully meaningless term like the best, and they give the staff a little idea of what aims at, uh, often written respectively to be justify the past action, often ignored by managers and might, you know, simply public relations. Okay, then we can look around the two famous companies of mission statement here. We have the mission statement of ASDA and the ASDA's mission statement to be a Britain best value retailer exceeding. So you can observe this. Actually, they are doing it or not. So when they're making all the objective, it should be reflect, you know, whatever their strategies and their actions. Tesco is the United Kingdom based international supermarket. Of course, you know, the company mission statement. Our core purpose is to create value for a customer to earn the lifetime loyalty. So we, they have, that's why they have started the loyalty card club points for this. We deliver through our value. So they have set the values, but that's, you know, they compromise some of their own value. No one try harder for the customer, treat people how like to be treated. So they should, provide the best customer service, they provide the fair uh, working condition for employees. So that's, you know, the all will be, should be reflected, you know, because that help, you know, as an organization. So we need to be think about how we can do that. Okay, so that's the next, this is the one of, you know, Interesting, you know, graphic exploring the relationship between mission, reasons, and value at the School of Public Health at the University of Singapore. So what they said, they said the vision, the school will be recognized for the integrating knowledge across the discipline, developing solutions that will improve the health of population in the Singapore and beyond. The mission is turning, discovering into healthier community, then they look around expanding and exchange education program with the cross-disciplinary focus, 
develop you know so you will see there they have the innovation is a key focus as well and mentorship is a key focus so that's you know all about we need to be look around how this we can transform to and technological forces also impact you know huge so technology forces intranet computers and the robotics and body scanners so is a huge impact on the sales and the marketing approaches as well okay then we have a 2.2 assess the current and potential technology innovation have the influence organization business strategies and innovation and information strategy this section looks you know it and information system strategy to contact the strategic planning to met the earlier okay so Uh, so guys, let's you know we look. Then we need to look around the sort analysis, our strength, weaknesses, and opportunity of these. You know each our uh, system, what the system will bring. So we need to look around the role of information technology, strategic content, context in the long run, e-business. You know we need to look around the diversity. Okay, so that's you know we need to be look around pull model of chain and supply chain. You know so those we need to look around. Okay, then information technology is uh, information technology the strategic context MP sound compressing and internet and fast broadband and connectivity. You know the connection save the force the company like a Sony and EMI to release their music. You know. Retailing strategies and technology is the heart of the company. So we can look around if we look, you know, the IES and IT Porter Five Forces to analyze the Porter Five Forces. Michael Porter gave the five forces. Those are we can look around the thread of the new entrants, the supplier pressures, customer pressure, thread of substitute, you know, and the revivery and the technology can embed, you know, that will help, you know, to exceed from the customer and we can bring the innovation in it to achieve our objective effectively and uh, efficiently. Then IES and IT and the Porter generic strategy. Michael Porter, one of the great scholar, he gave the four generic strategy, the cost leadership, uh, like the Ryanair and the cost focus and differentiation and differentiation focus. So the Porter identifies the normally the four, but we can say three generic strategy for dealing with the competitor forces and the two basic strategies overall the cost leadership and differentiation. The third strategy focus on the concentrate particular segment of the product line, geographic market and niche market. If the which the strategy an organization is currently using to promote its product and the services should be. So, guys, uh, so we need to be think about overall cost, cost leader, like you know the Ryanair, which is leading, and all the focus on the cost. You know, so the IT can play the key role either in the supply chain in scheduling can to help you know reduce the cost differentiation if the customer added design. Uh, E e booking e system so these also differentiation again the competitor the focus strategy is the niche you know maybe the some function of IT we can embed it for the tracking and all you know like you can click and click you can track your order and these you know the chaining with the passage of that strategy can be focused further the category of e business. It can be B2B B2B is a business to business strategy supermarket is information system automatically place order into the supplier IT uh, information system B2C the business to customers selling over the internet books flights and C to B is the customer to business some internet side you know display a collection of the supplier offering from which user can be choose and <clears throat> then C to C is the customer consumer to consumer Auction sites such as eBay is putting you know the customer together which either the Amazon is the same you know offering and the second hand books 
and the model is largely dependent on the internet. So buy side e-commerce fo- focuses on the transaction between the purchasing organ and its supplier and the sell side e-commerce focus on the transaction between the purchase. So that's, you know, we can say B2B business model, B2, uh, yes, B2C business model and uh, C2B business model, Priceline right and eBay.com. So these are the business to business. So these are the models we can use and that will help, you know, to be and that's innovation we can bring our organization. Next 2.3 is analyze the processes of creativity and innovation. So we can look around the stages of e-commerce. Uh, e-business, you know, help the business understand where they're, they're the process is e-business within this. And that's we need to be look around, you know, how we can make the organization go next. The further, the benefit of e-business, most of the company imply, you know, the business to achieve the cost reduction. CRM, customer relationship management system. Enhance, you know, the customer service via improving the marketing, emailing, and uh, special, you know, offers, market penetration, even the small supplier can be, and the combination of above should be enhanced. So we can look around the web presence, e-commerce, integrated e-commerce, and e-business. So these are all, you know, the things we can look around, and that will help, you know. And there, there are the, some barriers, maybe the technology and the culture people not accept that, but with the passage of time, we have to try to overcome explanation of the barrier to e-business. So it can be technophobia. Senior managers may be distrustable or spectacle about the alleged, you know, the benefit to e. Security concern about the hackers. Setup cost can be high. Running cost can be high or can be, you know, the, it's a lot of risk and be limited opportunity may be exploit e-business in because in certain areas maybe people don't have a laptop people not use the technology bank guarantees credit cards and all these you know the limited it resources and the customer not likely to be interested in that so these are can be all the barriers okay then we can look at an intranet and extranet so intranet are the internal internet and they exist you know organization only using the website and browser technology to display and they commonly they information about customer information about products and information about the competitor that's you know we can look around and further we can look around on the news and updates uh, procedures manually however there is a no reason why the accounting information cannot be delivered over the intranet extranet which are the intranet they are connected to the external intranet so for example suppliers should give the customer access to be ordered processing system to order can be placed and tracked. So that's, you know, the system. So company one, intranet and company two and public, you know, telephone network can be connected. Okay, then connect connection to the intranet which is not itself, you know, delivery business, suitable hardware, software. We need to be the research and development design, manufacturing and communication with the customer and inbound logistics. So that's, you know, can be, so what, where the e-commerce should be, internet use, the research purposes, access the research, computer added design can be, yes, CAD, you know, the speedy cam, CAD, computer added design, and the cheaper cost, and the can be computer added manufacturing, uh, website, you know, email, and then organization and supply chain, all we can focus. Okay, then there are the two approaches promoting if we are using the promoting strategies and e-commerce and the innovation can be producer, a retailer and the customer. This is the push strategy and other is a pull, you know, the producer demands retailer, wholesaler and to the customer. So there are the push and pull approach can be used in case of, you know, so influence of the customer behavior, the buying situation, the personal uh, influence can be information processing, motivation, belief, that she choose personality, and the social influence can be on the market and the making the decision to buy the product of the certain uh, companies or not. So that's we can need to be look around as well. And then we have a different behavior learning theories Classical conditioning is the process of using established the relationship between the stimulus and response to cause the learning. So operant conditioning is the individual response to stimulus offer the most satisfactory reward and subsequent behavior. 
the more rewarding response and the more likelihood to be repeat purchase. So that's, you know, we can look around the classical conditioning or operant conditioning. And then the behavioral theory of marketing, classical conditioning or establish the relationship between stimulus. So in advertising, humor is uh, known as a, a least a present response and they use the belief that the pleasant feeling will be condition of the product. Operant conditioning is the reinforced through the reward they use. The free sample is based on the these principles. And then Maslow, Maslow, Ibrahim Maslow, he gave the theory about the need. So we need to be, when we do our plan, the marketing, we need to be identify the needs of the individual customers and society as a large psychological safety, and then you can plan the things and you look at the behaviors. So by class, yes, state rebuy, modified, or rebuy new task, product type, you know, product uh, constraints and the product families and the market requisitions and orders, you know, that's all we can look around and behaviors can be. Next, we have a last, you know, our assessment criteria, which is 2.4, evaluate the organization structure. Structure is mean the role, responsibility, chain and command, you know, who's responsible for it. So that's the role of IT, strategic content. So we can look around the SWOT, we can look around the portal, portal generic strategies, and we have other authors as well. So e-business, we can look around the delivering e-business and through internet, supply chain, push and pull. And the business areas, we can look around buy side, commerce transaction, automatic purchase, cycles, low cost, uh, the less human intervention, yes. We can look around the organization of the distribution, uh, automating you know the sales cycles that's you know all we need to be look around any question guys you can ask or you can drop me email those are listening then we looking here tesco tesco is the leading company in the uk supermarket a typical stock you know the 50,000 product over 2,000 suppliers each which is supply almost 200 products so the company better ways of collaboration shift the responsibility manage product to the supplier. They use the Tesco information exchange, allowing supplier to view EPO, EPOS database system. Supplier can monitor actual sale in the real time and allowing them to be identified the chain in the demand product store and the recent year now react accordingly and uh, then 99 more effective promotion promotion management module supplier are involved planning and executing the promotion then in 1980s streamline the store replay and good orders via electronic data exchange edi then in 1889 help you know supplier fork out the demand e through edi and now, of course, you know, the real time and technology is for the e-procurement is it's a huge, you know, using the e-procurement, e-ordering system, e-tracking system, you know, even and click and collect, you know, of Tesco as well. Home delivery services, all the are based on the technology. E-sourcing cover the electronic, you know, the method of finding the new suppliers, establishing the contract, not only they can be e-sourced, safe administration time and money and it can enable company to discover e purchasing cover the product you know the selection buying and selling online so that's you know also improvement the customer service can be through the it technology innovation e payments include the tools such as electronic invoicing electronic fund transfer like you know self scanning you may be seen and we see you know we observe you know these machines latest you know so that helps, you know, to reduce the cost. And ultimately, this is the innovation, you know, the in, in Tesco, in Asda, self-scan, you know, and you don't need to, you carry on scanning and put in a basket and use the scanner. So benefit, you know, the saving labor and the procurement cost, uh, better delivery, kind of inventory control, better control of a supplier risk, you know, become reliant uh, on the technology. Are there maybe the stock resistance, you know, to chain that cost saving maybe fail sometime. So that's, you know, we have uh, investing, investing new one things, but making it the commercially viable is a quite another. 
where the innovation come innovation is about the putting the new ideas or approaches into action innovation is commonly described as the commercially successful exploiting the idea successful innovation is the man about creating adding value to for the customer if not adding the value no point you know go for the process innovation developing goods and the process you know service and the value we need to look around however both kids we need to look around however both you know the innovation we need to be look around and the kind of innovation it requires the businesses to be challenge the status quo and deep you know understanding about the customer need develop in imaginative and novel situation innovation can be comes in the many form improve you know replacing businesses processes yeah that's all we need to be adding the values existing product okay uh where from it the innovation is a creative process the ideas may be come from inside the business outside the business suppliers yes so we all need to be take them on board and we need to listen them we need to be take the ideas from them successful innovation come from the filtering those ideas identifying those you know the businesses focus and applying the resources that supplied them the benefit significant improve improve productivity reduce cost building brand and establishing advantages yes so competitive and innovation there is a clear casual connection between the pace of the product and the process innovation within the company and growing pros- uh, prosperity of the country innovation drivers pros- progress and determine the productivity so here we can see the companies of us those are leading you know international business machine ibm you know we will see other up to the 2015 these figures we can find later sun world so that's you know some reflections okay then innovation requires strong human resource capital institutions and incentive entrepreneurial is a link to the notion creativity so if we're not creative it's difficult so with that we need to be look around research and development uh, uh fit and box initiative corporation tax public research and development high skill migrant policy nutrient and these you know all policy can be overall then we can look around the uh, unsub metric which is a uh, gore unsub gave and we existing products in existing market new product in new market uh new market is a market development diversification so these strategies we can use according to the gore unsub and we can bring you know the innovation to our processes and that will help you know to achieve the competitive advantage okay then the, we see here first steps you know samsung enrich the customer life through the new product innovation transition from the low cost knock off the cutting edge technology brand aims to be dethrone the sony and the set out to become the premier brand and the focus on the customer centered new product and want to be the first company find that develop and the new product consumer electronic <clears throat> so that's you know then you will see please that's you know the further hand out and the three the speaker notes you can read as well huh? further enhance your understanding please okay then next you know this is the product innovation product development a new product through the firm's own research and development creating successful new product where innovation and the technology can be used so when you do you know an innovation there are the stages idea generation idea screening concept development testing marketing strategies business analysis product development test marketing and then commercialization that's we need to and then we have the first stop you know netflix channel innovation innovation distribution model video entertainment dvd by email watch you know instantly yes video streaming original content and stay ahead you know the competition that's you know the netflix is leading and it's grown and then we included the this you know the innovation video please quite good to watch so what we can do you can paste this link guys you know and you can watch this huh? in your time you know please make sure that's quite good to watch really so product innovation launching new product improve process innovation how we can do and then the product innovation first mover advantage can be as a company yes so that can be used and then the process innovation benefits can be reduced cost improve quality uh 
the key benefit effective innovation can be improve the productivity reduce the cost you know that's the key every business so that's you know that's you know we can we can you can watch you know in your own time guys uh, okay then next you know i can go back to and i copied the link for you after this video please in your time make sure you do a bit quiz you know enhance your understanding about innovation in marketing and the creativities and things in the behaviors so that's all today lesson and the next lesson will go through lo3 please make sure you know try to attend the session so we have a healthy discussion and we can share ideas and we can link you know more discussion and i hope you know speak you all during our next lesson thanks for attending and listening Thank you bye bye